Right now, Greyhound is working on some new plans with local partners. They want to find a new bus stop location in Knoxville. Yeah, this has been a problem for years now. The city really has been asking the bus service to find a safer drop off and pick up spot for the riders. Our Jared Austin joins us in studio tonight. Jared, a lot of the riders you spoke with say the current stop really isn't safe for anyone. Yeah, it's because you have people just sitting on the side of the road like you saw there. They say it's dangerous, especially since there's nowhere to go inside, use a restroom. Sometimes you have to be out there late at night, talking 11 o'clock, midnight for some people. Some want those changes now for those who do use the buses. Riders sitting on the side of the road waiting for a Greyhound bus ride. It's one of those places where you don't want to stop. The current spot? They have nothing but parking lot, no bathrooms, no nothing. Greyhound uses the Knoxville Area Transit's current Kirkwood stop. Bus riders we spoke with sharing how long they've had to wait at times. I've waited out there for four or five hours. About two hours. I probably waited about a good six, seven, eight hours. I had to wait four hours for my bus to get here. It was scheduled for six, but it kept getting delayed. Back in 2022, Greyhound closed its location near the old city. They've moved spots a couple times before settling in East Knoxville. Some riders want a better solution. Why not open up another building or, you know, put, put another facility where, you know, our customers can go inside. Not just for their comfort, but to protect all of the riders. Now, we did reach out to both the city and Greyhound on this one. City sent us a lengthy statement. We have the whole thing in your WBLT News app. We're going to show you a piece of it here on air. Greyhound has been negotiation with, negotiating with private property owners, but to the city's knowledge, has not reached an agreement yet. City goes on to say it does not have regulatory oversight over Greyhound, and the city also has consistently and strongly recommended that Greyhound partner with another private business that can offer restrooms, indoor shelter with heating and air conditioning, and 24 hour operations with food options, guys. It certainly does give visitors to our town a bad taste of yeah. Knoxville. So Greyhound, Jared, what are they saying? What are they doing to work on this deal? They kept it really short. They're saying they're working with some new partners on a deal, just haven't had anything solidified yet. All right, we'll continue to stay on the story, Jared. Thanks.